and welcome back to TechPress. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a footer inside Shopify. To get started, it's going to be really easily processed. First of all, I'm going to be being sure to log into my Shopify Amazon panel. I want to navigate directly to the left section that says Online Store, and then click into Themes. Inside Themes, I have a current theme of ribbon added. Really important to choose the option that says Customized. Now we can scroll back to the section list on the left and you will find the folder section, which is appearing in here. Now, when I click into the folder, this would be sending us directly into the folder element. Now, here we'll be finding various settings to customize the layout and content of the folder. The specific options available will vary slightly depending on your theme, but generally you'll find settings for adding uh, a menu links, text blocks, social media actions, and sometimes a different more. So let's start by adding a menu links. A common practice is to include links to important pages, such as the About section, the Contact Us, the Shipping and Returns and Privacy Policy. So let's go back here. We have, for example, the color scheme. Here's the email sign up. I'm going to add a new section into my folder. And for example, we have the feature Review Cursor, and I can opt for a Review Cursor. Or I can just click into my folder. I go for Add. And here I can add a menu. So into menu, I click into my quick links and I go for folder menu. Now, in this case, I have nothing into my folder menu, but I can hit into edit. And this one is going to be sending us directly into our folder menu. So for example, my label should be, for example, shipping and returns. And this links should be sending them directly, for example, into policies or blog posts or pages. I can add a new page and the shipping and the returns, for example, it's going to be changing for customer and a new one. For example, uh, I'm going to type in for company information and I hit them into a specific element. I hit it to save and when I go back, it should be added automatically here. So the folder menu, let's go back, quick links. And I change this from replace main menu, replace folder menu. And there we go. It doesn't look that bad actually. So um, what I need to do now is to check out here. Let's go back. And if I wanted to change more elements or to add more, I can add a new block, for example, brand information. So I have, for example, this quick links where I can just select it and move to the next position like this, or to duplicate it, hide, remove, and do much more. Now, we can add multiple menu blocks. So this is a great place to include your store contact information. So for example, I can go back and here uh, where it says brand information, I'm gonna be adding new block and text. So here what I can do is to put this a little bit down and start by adding more information about myself. For example, let's say fifth, and it says heading. Let's say, for example, that I go for Ghastly Store Inc. Information about myself. And if I wanted to, once again, I can move this. I think that we are actually good to go with that. Some themes also offer options adding like a newsletter sign up form for the footer. In my case, here it is. So it says subscribe to our emails. I can put this all my way up if I wanted to. And if I don't, I can just disable the email sign up. But I think this one actually works for me really well. And lastly, guys, here what you can do is you want to change the background color of the footer, the text color or the font size. You can also adjust the padding margin then. So if I click my footer, I have the color scheme and I can change my color scheme depending on the color scheme that I have created and generated so far. In my case, I think that it actually works the scheme number two. But if I wanted to create one, I can go for the theme settings and add a new scheme. And I can change the color of the background, I can change the background gradient, and basically so much more stuff. So let's go back. And that's it. You have successfully set up and customized your Shopify folder. Remember to include essential information, organize your links logically, and ensure the folder aligns with your brand overall aesthetic. 
So if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Express for more in-depth Shopify tutorials and tech insight. Leave your questions in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer them. Thank you once again for watching the video and stay tuned for our next video.